Hi guys, uh, in this video we will discuss about the uh, MRF approach uh, uh, for simulating the pump simulation where the pressure rises from uh, inlet to outlet. So on the screen you can see the centrifugal pump. Uh, so there are the two domains. One is MRF domain and the other is the fluid domain or the external domain. Both MRF and fluid are both the fluid domains only. But in the MRF domain there should not be any normal component uh, to the domain so that is the reason why we try to enclose the impeller in such a way that there will be no normal component right so i'm just showing you the uh, mrf domain on the screen you can see the mrf domain here with the impeller blades inside it and i have removed the solid material because it's only fluid simulation what we are uh, intent to do if you have any heat transfer also then you need to go for solid domain so it's a fluid domain and if you can go for the boots you can show the uh, this is the impeller uh, walls what i have selected for the refinement this is the inlet and this is the outlet and these are the walls onto which i want to have an inflation layer uh, now i'll try to mesh it at the fluent meshing so just i'm uh, trying to open the mesh window so as in the student version i have only four uh, processors so I have selected uh, three as my normal processes and one for my GPU. I have the GPU graphics processing or sourcing in it. So next I'll go to the monitor draw metry. I'll try to import that mesh. Uh, so you can just go, uh, I'll just uh, uh, show you the path where I have got my uh, MRF uh, fluid domain. This is a pump, uh, what is the geometry, what I have saved it as. So after uh, saving it, so I can just add a local sizing. Uh, so local sizing should be like I am selecting 0.7 for the impeller only. So that is the local sizing what I am defining. And after that, I'll just go to the surface mesh. I'll just on only the curvature, 30 degrees. So I'll generate a surface mesh. So it's only for demonstration purpose. You can refine it for more uh, in order to have a uh, accurate physics. So this contains only fluid ranges without no voids in yes, shape the topology, describe the geometry, apply shape topology. Uh, and in polar uh, should be a wall, inlet, outlet and walls, update more trees. And in this, this should not be a fluid, it should be dead. Uh, because fluid and MR, there are only two domains. But uh, the uh, empty space which is present in the impeller is also taking it as a domain so I'm making it as dead update regions now I just want to add a boundary layers maybe five boundary layers uh, on the selected labels uh, the fluid radius the selected labels I'll add I just want the boundary layers on impeller defined in walls and boundary layers and after that uh, maybe I'll just edit it and uh, I will mention uh, uniform with uh, first layer height as 0 0.03 probably update it and then I'll generate uh, uh, polyhedral mesh it's okay for me I'll generate volume mesh so it will try to create the volume mesh with polyhedra cells and you need to be careful that the volume count should be less than uh, 512,000 uh, count because it's an academic version So now uh, it has given a good quality mesh. You can see the minimum orthomer quality is 0 0.07, uh, so which is greater than 0 0.01. So the quality is okay for us. Now you can just go and uh, check for the number of elements. So it is yeah 184,000, which is less than 512,000. So I'll progress to the solution mode. So after getting into the solution mode, you need to uh, define the assignment of the fluid uh, cell. So we need to find the centroid. So obviously just note it down. So this is the MRF onto which you need to find the centroid. So select on the mass properties and select this volume. So you'll get the center of volume. So note this center of volume so that you can enter the into your domain. Go to the models. So I'll try to first you need to check the scale. Uh, the scale is it in meters. Is it okay? Uh, yes, yes, it's okay. So it is in uh, 70 centimeter scale, centimeter scale. So then after you just go to materials, you need to add water fluid. So fluid database. 
just get into water liquid copy close close and then go to cell zone conditions in the mrf approach so you need to mention the uh, domain motion which is frame motion that is an mrf so make it as water liquid now you need to mention the rotation axis origin so the axis origin is this one center of volume so maybe you can mention minus 0 point and for y it is uh, it is in mm so i'm converting it to meters so that's the reason why i'm adding this extra part and for z it is 138291 and uh okay so i'll just change this units of angular velocity to rpm rpm close now we can go to that and rpm maybe i'll mention thousand apply close and fluid also you need to turn into water liquid so now you can just go to boundary conditions and you go to display mesh so you can just select outlet inlet with edges on graphics so you can see so one is inlet other is outlet so obviously the pressure need to rise from inlet to outlet that is the pump case so now we will mention this is a pressure inlet with 0 bar as a uh, cage pressure and outlet mass flow rate uh, I'll select mass flow outlet uh, approximately maybe with uh, 0 0.1 kg per second apply so after that you just uh, go to monitor particle definitions for in order to create a just surface report where you can uh, keep outlet as your monitor point with static pressure as an outlet so compute oh sorry you need to initialize so first you need to initialize the thing uh, so initialize and after initializing go to report definition so now it is with zero pascal now after the solution starts progressing you can see the outlet pressure will start raising so it should not be zero it should be more than zero as it is a pump case so now we are going with mrf approach where it is a steady state conditions where you will try to apply uh, but in actual sense you need to go with a transient approach in pumps in that case you can go with dynamic mesh or sliding mesh so the mrf mesh is mrf approach is not that accurate but it gives a uh, maybe a competitive results compared to the actual one and all these domains are the, you can just check what are all these domains go to boundary condition display mesh you can just select all these mrf fluid zones and click display so this is the impeller parts so all these impeller parts will be adjacent to the mrf uh, domain so you can select all these mrf multi edit and these are all will be stationary with respect to or relative to the MRF zone because the MRF zone is already moving. So all these will be in relative to the adjacent cell zone which is MRF zone. It is zero. And we need to mention the origin here. So obviously, here the adjacent cell zone is nothing but the MRF zone. MRF zone is already rotating. So you can give that the relative velocity or relative speed as zero. Is 0 1626 and this is minus 0 0.0138291 apply close and then run calculation you just mention the number of iterations maybe 500 and try to decrease this uh, under relaxation factors so it will keep it stable calculation and click calculate so after a couple of minutes we'll get the solution so i uh, can see the solution has become stabilized so i'll just show you the pressure outlet pressure so it is around uh, 3185 pascal so which is greater than the zero pascal so the pressure has been raised uh, by 3000 pascal now maybe we will select a domain or a plane Mm, that's why plane create so we will try to check 
the counters how they are being distributed so you can see here at the center the pressure is low and as it's progressing the pressure is getting higher similarly we can check for velocity so here the circulation the velocity is higher compared to the velocity at that point and similarly you can check for the remaining properties like turbulence kinetic energy how it is getting distributed so it is more at these parts because it is uh, uh, quite towards the outlet and similarly dissipation rates you can just check where it is getting dissipated maybe you need to go for a uh, range instead of 4000 uh, you can go for 4000 So these are the points because more at the walls only due to viscosity effects will dissipate it. So that is the reason why it is red near the walls. Okay, hope uh, this video helped you in understanding how to run a pump simulation using MRF approach in order to get a high static pressure at the outlet. Uh, we'll find a next video in the upcoming uh, session. Please do subscribe and encourage me in doing more number of videos. Thank you.